Season Pass, sponsored by City National Bank, starts now. Welcome to Season Pass. I'm your host, Sabrina Hoover. Well, football season has now arrived, and I am so excited to be able to share with y'all all the results and highlights from week one of the high school football season. So let's dive into the next 30 minutes. Well, we start with the Central Bobcats, who finished the 2022 season with a 5-6 and six overall record that would make the playoffs for the 13th straight year, looking to add more history. Friday night, the Bobcats look to get some revenge on the Wolves, who defeated Central last year. A young squad for third-year head coach Kevin Crane, but the expectations were high ahead of their matchup. They're certainly athletic and talented and uh, always, always uh, a very good game for us. You know, when we play those guys and we're, we're glad that uh, we're playing them at home this year. It's a good football game for us and, and overall we're just excited to get out there and play. Both of these guys are, are talented young men and, you know, they're both capable of, of playing. They're both capable of leading our team and uh, I feel good about either one of them, you know, and so uh, that's a unique situation to be in. Well, the Bobcats hosting a ranked Colleen Shoemaker team looking for a different result this year. Early first quarter, Shoemaker with possession. QB tries to make the handoff, and the ball is loose. Picked up by Corlin Wakala right around midfield, and he is off to the races. The big fella showing off his speed. He scores the first touchdown of the season for Central. Central now trailing 14-7 still in the first quarter. Christian English with the handoff to Javion Robinson. Gets to the goal line hit, then pushed into the end zone to, this, to tie this one up at 14. Second quarter, Central trailing 20 to 14 now. English sitting in the pocket, hits Tyree Brawley out in the flat, hit as he is met in the end zone, but that ties it up right before half. A back and forth game all night. However, Central falls 34 27, and they will travel to El Paso next week. And moving to 4A, the Lakeview Chiefs, they would finish the 2022 season 3 and 7 overall and 0 and 4 in the toughest district in Region 1 following realignment last year. A tough year for the Chiefs as they saw their four year streak in making the playoffs come to an end. But head coach Hector Guevara explained the game plan against their tornadoes leading up to Friday night. They show up to work and every every week they, they come up with a new word. You know, this week is energy and, and they, they come to us and tell us, hey, coach of the word of the week is energy. So, you know, so we, we feed off of that and we remind them of what they're bringing to the table. And, it, you know, a lot, a lot of it comes ownership of themselves, you know, so we want them to take charge. They do a good job running the ball. So we've got to make sure that we can slow them down defensively and hopefully, you know, maybe cause some turno turnovers here and there and just you know, just like I said earlier, just got to stay, stay sound. Well, Friday night created a new slate for the team. The Lakeview Chiefs picked up their first victory of the 2023 season, a 49-8 victory over La Mesa. The Chiefs put up 49 points, five points more than their victory last year over the Tornadoes at home. Now the Chiefs look towards Sweetwater at home next Friday to, to continue their momentum under seventh-year head coach Hector Guevara. And a six-ranked Wallhawks starting the season against Eastland at home. The saying is defense wins championships, and that's exactly what we have here. Ryan Allen climbs the ladder to get the Hawks' first takeaway of the season. Score 0-0. Zero, zero. Public service announcement, Ryan Allen had himself a day. Catches his 50-yard bomb laid out nice by Gunnar Dillard for the Wallhawk touchdown. Hawks lead 7-0 in the first. Hagen Barbie once in on the action, takes the pitch, tells the defense you're too slow, outruns the Maverick defense to the pie line for the second touchdown of the game. First and goal from the one, don't mind if I do. Gunnar Dillard puts his head down, drives his feet, and he is in for another Wallhawk touchdown in the first half. Hawks defeat Eastland in their season opener 35-10. And moving to the Brady Bulldogs, a team that finished 2022 with a 5-6 overall record, 3-2 in District 2, 3A Division 2. Good enough for a third-place finish to make the playoffs for the fourth straight season. Well, a new season, new results, and new head coach. The Bulldogs would fall in their season opener to Comanche 37-8. Not what the Bulldogs wanted to, wanted to see, but they look towards their next opponent, the Mason Punchers and Mason next Friday. And the Grape Creek Eagles are coming off a tough 2022 season where they would finish 0-10 overall and 0-5 in district play. Friday night was a chance for the team to get off on the right foot. Stanton traveling to Eagles Stadium, but not the result they wanted. The Buffaloes defeated them 42-6 the final. The Eagles will travel to Cougars territory next Friday when they face Cristobal. 
Coming up next on Season Pass, we take a look at our game of the week, TLCA San Angelo versus Ozona. Stick around. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Labor Day sale starts now. This week, save $1,000 on your entire purchase. Plus, update any room in your home for only $5.98 or get 0% interest for 60 months. Going on now at Ashley. It's time again for the Teacher of the Week, sponsored by Concho Educators Federal Credit Union. Go to ConchoValleyHomepage.com and tell us how your teacher goes above and beyond. They could win great prizes like a gift card to Pax Saddle Barbecue, a plaque from Angelo Awards, teacher appreciation bag from Concho Educators, a gift card from Holiday Cleaners, a flower bouquet from Southwest Florist, a delicious cake from City Cafe and Bakery, and a gift certificate from Old Central Firehouse. Teacher of the Week is sponsored by Concho Educators Federal Credit Union. Go to ConchoValleyHomepage.com for more info. The Ballinger Area Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center invites you to visit Keystone Bank, where they put the client first. They offer an array of services to help manage your finances, no matter if it's personal or business. Give them a call. Did you know that listening to music, enjoying art, or simply holding hands can boost your cognition? Like me, you want to maintain brain health for as long as possible. I'm Kevin Jamison, president of the Dementia Society of America. Please request our free guide filled with 10 building blocks to better brain health, care planning, and facts about dementia. Visit our website at 1-800-DEMENTIA.ORG or call us at 1-800-DEMENTIA. You want to live life to the fullest and our free guide can help. Millions open a My Social Security account every year so they can prepare for retirement. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. Feels good to be home. Ashley's Labor Day mattress sale is going on now. Save up to $800 on top-rated adjustable mattress sets or get 0% interest for 60 months. Plus, get a free Yeti cooler with qualifying purchases only at Ashley. Welcome back, everyone. Our KLST Game of the Week showcased TLCA St. Angelo hosting Ozona, two schools that met for just the second time on the gridiron. I had the opportunity to go out and talk to both teams about the importance of this game. And after last year, what happened, we're looking forward to trying to exact some revenge if we can. The TLCA St. Angelo Eagles are set to take on the Ozona Lions Friday night, a team they defeated last season 42-36, to ending their 24-game losing streak. However, both teams are now focused on the new challenges. That's really important. I just We got to go out there expecting to win, play our best. I mean, we've practiced a long time for this, and uh, it's a first chance to get out there in a game and uh, just get a chance to get this train rolling and look for a good season. The Lions are fielding a lineup of experienced returning players determined to achieve a different outcome and kick off the season with a positive start. It's an extremely exciting feeling because, you know, they came down here last time and you know how that ended up. So hopefully we can go out there and give it to them twice as hard. This time, Ozona will be making the journey to the Eagles territory and their first year head coach, Paulo Gonzalez, is counting on the fans to boost the team's confidence. Well, we sure want to fill the stands up. You know, I've been trying to promote that with the kids in the classrooms and, you know, we need that chair section to be very loud to kind of show us the support for TLCA. Atmosphere every time we get home environment, our fans always come out and support and it's real loud, real fun and it's exciting to be at home. With four years at the helm, head coach Jared Taylor expresses confidence that his team's mindset will remain the same no matter the result. Probably one of the biggest things has been, you know, they're going to support each other, they're going to give their all for each other, and they're going to fight for each other. And I think, you know, win or lose, you know, they're going to keep that going. And the Eagles host the Lions of the Zone at Lakeview Stadium Friday night. First quarter, Hudson Fowler with possession drops back, launches a missile downfield. Beautiful ball. And there is Matthew Daniels and for a Lions touchdown, their first of the season. Still in the first, Fowler decides to keep it himself. He's cruising on through with the help of his linemen, breaking tackles, and he will fall into the end zone. Lions now lead 14-0. And if you are tired of hearing his name, well, get used to it. Fowler once again, big goal for him. Easy touchdown to give Ozona a 21-0 lead. Ozona with a big-time win in week one on the road, 65-14. And the Cougars of Cristobal taking on the Eagles of El Dorado in another rematch battle. Early on, Eagles waste no time and a quick handoff to Isaac Soto, and he's in for the El Dorado touchdown. 
few plays later, Cristobal ready to respond. A QB handoff to Manuel Rio, Riojas. <laughs> It'll turn on the gas. Look at him go. He's still going, and finally the Eagles catch up, but it's too late. He's in to put Cristobal right back in it. Eagles lead by one in the second. There's the handoff. QB Omar Barajas is going to keep it himself. Just kidding. There's the pitch out to Elazar Hernandez, and he's going to ride the sideline, fighting off the Cougars and reach for the Eagle touchdown. El Dorado gets the week one win at home over Cristobal, 26 to 12, the final. And in 2022, the Sonora Broncos were back on top for the second straight year of district play, claiming their second straight co-district championship with Blake Weston at the helm in Sonora. And another opening season victory for the Broncos this year. They would defeat Ballinger 46 to 12. They will look to keep the train rolling when they face Cahoma next Friday. And moving to District 14 2A, the Mason Punchers face the Coleman Blue Cats. A rematch from last year where the Punchers fell 7 to 6 in the opening night of the 2022 season. Well, new year, new results. The Punchers come out on top 29 to 20, a big win to start the 2023 season. And moving to the Junction Eagles, they would return to the playoffs in 2022 for the eighth time in the last nine seasons. Despite just a 2-8 and eight overall record and a 1-1 one one district record, the Eagles would punch their ticket to the playoffs. And Friday night started the beginning of their season where they would ultimately fall 40-19 the final. Coming up next on Season Pass, we finish our last few 11-man games in the area. Stick around. Easy money. Hi, I'm Mike. Come to MGB for quick, easy money. It's the way Texans have cashed in on their gold, silver, and diamonds for over a decade. Come to MGB, Mike's Gold Buyers, and you'll say, I sold gold and I like Mike. I'm currently out of the office, focusing on a little blue sky thinking. I'll be taking meetings with family and friends and checking voicemail as my activities permit. I'll connect with you after reconnecting with me. Get 1.9% APR for 36 months on most 2023 Cadillac models. Visit Randall Cadillac. The importance of keeping the community informed when accurate information matters the most is completely paramount to what we do at Concho Valley Homepage. The difference in what we do over here at Contra Valley Homepage and your regular reporter is our deadline is right here right now. I try to focus on a passion with the people. Whatever I believe that my community is passionate about, I try to follow and investigate. When life takes a challenging turn, when you need specialized health care, certified specialty nurses make a difference. Dedicated to lifelong learning, their specialized skills include the latest developments in patient care. Throughout your life, no matter what you're faced with, from primary to critical and advanced care, certified specialty nurses and advanced practice nurses make a difference. Learn more at certifiednurses.org. Yeah, hello. I'm really not sure if this is what you all do. I left the service last year. I feel so stuck. I love my family. Sometimes it feels like I'm not really here. I'm glad you called. We're going to walk through this together. Friday night saw many of our high school football teams playing in their 2023 season opener. Well, the Sterling City Eagles got their season started Saturday against the Odessa Compass Cougars. Eagles start on offense. Quarterback Ty Turner takes a deep bomb out to his covered man. That's Johnny Monreal with the catch. Makes a couple man miss, and we'll speed it up for you here because he will take it all the way to the house. Goodbye. Eagles strike first, 7 nothing. Compass trying to get cooking on offense. Diego Franco finds Tanner Gar on the run, and he takes it about 20 yards, well enough for the first down. Same drive, Diego looking downfield, but finds an eagle instead. That's Turner again, this time with the interception. Eagles in great field position. Two plays later, Compass de defense with a swat, and it's somehow intercepted as it falls to the ground. Compass can't convert, and the Eagles back in possession. Ensuing drive, and Seth Turner gets the handoff, and he drags about four Cougars with him into the end zone for six. It was all Eagles all game. Compass drops their season opener, 35-0 the final. And the Wildcats over in Abilene Thursday night, taking on the TLCA Abilene Eagles. First quarter fake throw, and then watch him run. Anthony Quintana cuts back not once but twice, and then is able to get down just short of the goal line for the Cats. 
More from the Wildcats again on the ground. Quintana will pitch it off to David Valeriano, who makes a man miss, gets to the sidelines, and is gone for the long Water Valley touchdown to extend their early lead. Water Valley is starting to pull away now from the Eagles. It's Valeriano again. The handoff hit immediately. It will get dragged into the end zone for the score. All Water Valley, they win it 60-9, to the final. And the first ever meeting between Kerman and 24th ranked Miles happening. First quarter, Bulldogs trail 6 0. Miles looking to change that. Haven Book connects with Cooper Ellison. A touchdown and two point conversion gives them an 8 0 lead. Second quarter, Book looking for his man. He will find him. Dylan Medina with a catch. He will be in for the touchdown to continue their momentum. A few plays later, Bulldogs now on defense. Morelso Perez's pass is intercepted by Devin Medina. He is chugging his way on home. He will find the end zone, a pick six for another Bulldog touchdown. Bulldogs with the dominant performance, 72-12, to the final. Coming up next on season pass, we go from 11 man to 6 man. Stick around. We're busy. <laughs> I get it. So Stanton Optical works with your schedule. Buy online, pick up in-store, same day, and get a free fitting. I mean, look at my to-do list. Skip the wait. Get your kids' glasses made the same day, only at Stanton Optical. The savings keep adding up for Fred Loya customers in Texas. In recent months, people who switched from Geico, Allstate, and Progressive to Fred Loya Insurance saved over $1,700 a year. State Farm customers saved over $1,300 a year. Include the savings of Fred Loya customers from multiple states, and that's a combined savings of over $1.1 million a year. Start paying less for your car insurance. Call or visit fredloya.com. If you don't call, you don't save. Think you know high school football? Take the Dr. Pepper High School Football Challenge today. Each week, head to ConchoValleyHomepage.com to take the challenge and for your chance to win a $20 gift card. The Dr. Pepper High School Football Challenge on ConchoValleyHomepage.com. What if there was a place where every kid got a chance to be great? The Hershey's believe learning shouldn't have a price. Everything we need is taken care of. Our classrooms, they have no walls. We learn by doing through programs that give us an early start on college and our careers. Here, we have the chance to be great. And you, you can be next. I've run this place for 20 years, but I still need to prove that I'm more than what you see on paper. At Stanton Optical, you get great value on eye care, including contacts. Right now, get a one-year supply of AccuView Oasis and an eye exam for only $189. Scan now to book your eye exam. Yay, technology! Twenty twenty two was a year of growth in very best. A team filled with freshmen and sophomores who look to take what they learned last season and develop into wins this year. And what a good start for the Falcons. Very best would defeat Santa Ana 50 nothing, a shutout victory to start the season under third year head coach Justin Morris. They will look to face the Zephyr Bulldogs next Friday. And continuing in District 13 1A Division 1, the Menard Yellow Jackets started the 2023 season off with a 62-14 win over McDade. They will face Cherokee next Friday. And the Erin County Hornets, not the start they were looking for as Buena Vista defeats them 46-42. Hornets look to bounce back Thursday night against Spur. And moving to the Robert Lee Steers, they come out with the shutout victory, 46-0 against Rotan. They look to build on to the momentum when they face Sands next. And lastly, the Eden Bulldogs would start the season 0-1. They would fall to Lakey, 62-18, the final. And the Broad Longhorns play Thursday night against the Zephyr Bulldogs, a revisiting rematch of last year's opener, which saw the Longhorns emerging victorious with a 44-37 final score. Broad season and home opener against 24th-ranked Zephyr Thursday evening. Longhorns with the first possession of the game. Running back Cole Knight moving past defenders, cuts to the outside enough for a first down to keep the chains moving. A few plays later, get used to seeing him night with possession. It'll take a few defenders to finally bring him down. He'll be in for a broad touchdown to put them on the board first. Braun looking to add on to the momentum. Jayton Galvin looking around ready to throw it downfield. It will fall right into the hands of Joel Pena. He will be in for a touchdown. Longhorns now lead 12-0. 
it would be all Bulldogs. The Longhorns would fall in this one, 42 to 18, the final. And moving to District 13, 1A Division 2, the 25th ranked Blackwell Hornets have lost many due to graduation, leaving them with a ton of question marks. Well, not the start they were looking for as they would fall to Aspermont 30 to 14 in their season opener. They will play Eden next week and will look towards a new outcome. And lastly on our list, the Paint Rock Indians. They were just a win away from snapping their long playoff drought last season, losing the regular season finale to Panther Creek by nine points. But new expectations for the Indian Indians. They start the season with a 35-21 victory over TLCA Midland. They will face Ranger next Thursday at home. Coming up next on Season Pass, we, fe we feature our co-player of the week. Stick around. The right car, the right deal, the right time. When it all comes together for you, it's like magic. It happens for people every day at Randall Motors Pre-Owned because we make it easy, easy to find the one you want, easy to get the deal you need, and easy to get it done. Randall Motors Pre-Owned. We don't sell you a car. We help you buy one. But everything looks clear. Oh, ugly white spots in there. All gone. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> of high school football is complete. Now we take a look at our player of the week. This time, these two athletes deserve co-player of the week. Quarterback Caven Book and running back Tevin Mead. What a night these two young men had over in Miles Friday night. Starting with Book, he went 19 of 27 for 254 yards and five touchdowns. Also, as if that wasn't enough, he would rush four times for 39 yards and one touchdown. Six total touchdowns for Book, earning our list of player of the week. Now, we couldn't stop there. Meade had seven rushes for 122 yards and three touchdowns and two catches for 55 yards and one touchdown. Also earning their leading tackler with 14 tackles in the Bulldogs' 72-12 victory over Kermit. And the Dr. Pepper Trivia Challenge is back. This week's question was, when was the last time Cristobal and El Dorado were each co-district champions? Was it A, 2018, B, 2007, C, 2005, or D, 2003? Well, we have our winner. Congratulations to Jesse Garzes. The correct answer was 2018. If you or someone you know wants to participate in this challenge, head over to our website, ConchoValleyHomepage.com. And today, Angelo State athletes and their staff collaborated to contribute to the community. They assisted the San Angelo Area Food Bank in packing produce for the student packaging program. About 380 athletes gathered in their matching yellow Angelo State shirts to assist in packaging produce for children in need. This event provided athletes with valuable hands-on experience and opportunities for networking. Vice President of this event, Caitlin Heisey, emphasized the, the significance of this effort, not only for the community, but also for everyone who participated. Working with the food bank today to help pack bags for the stew program, um, the student packaging program, so that we can send food to the um, kids of the Tom Green County that don't normally get food on the weekends. We have about 380 athletes out here today helping out, and so I think it's awesome that we can do in 20 minutes what only some people could do in a couple of hours just to help for an entire month. We emphasize community service throughout the year as a SAC just because we think it's important that as many people come to support us that we help support them back. Um, it's good to see everybody in the community making those connections and like. Like, you never know what's going to happen and who's going to help you out in the future. So it's good that we give back as people give to us. And that was awesome. Officials and referees are needed for all different high school sports. With seasons already underway, officials say it's important to recognize these issues. Without them, the game can't continue to grow. The job of a referee is an important one, one that many sports officials say is underappreciated. The number one reason why we're losing officials is what I would call is the environment. Um, they are subjected to a, an expectation of almost professional ability when most of the time 
uh, officiating is not even their second job. It's probably their third or fourth involvement. KHSAA Commissioner Julian Tackett says players, coaches, and refs make mistakes, but sometimes it becomes personal and pushes away experienced refs. Shortages can cause game changes or cancellations. For growing sports in Lexington, like soccer, the more games they have, the more officials they need. It's when we get to some of the older games where we need more experienced officials. That's where these guys are really uh, working a lot of games on a weekend. It can take a thousand snaps and hundreds of plays to become a great official. While they're getting new hires, Tackett says they're losing their experienced ones. We're down with volleyball and football for this year. We're way down for this basketball season, but it's still August. So we've got time before the basketball season really hits. Right now, they have nearly 4,000 total officials. That's compared to the more than 5,000 officials for the 2022-23 season. And an MMA fighter is stepping into the ring for his debut fight, despite his ongoing battle with a severe form of asthma. Take a look. When it comes to MMA, physical prowess and mental fortitude reign supreme. Meet Kent Craig, an amateur fighter making his debut in the ring. But what sets him apart is his determination to overcome asthma, something he learned at a young age. We just keep going, keep going, you know, so trying to figure things out at a young age, you know, having my mother, you know, trying to figure it out too, you know, with me. But Craig's determination stems from a dark past. At the age of eight, his cousin died of an asthma attack, which would plague him for years. When he passed away mentally, I'm like, is that the same way, you know, you know I'm gonna go out? But his competitive spirit runs deep, eventually learning to manage his asthma and excel in sports. This is a tombstone of my cousin that passed away. The tattoos on his arm serve as a constant reminder of his cousin's spirit, pushing him beyond his own limits. It says I could be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. As Craig prepares for his upcoming fight, that sentiment resonating with Coach Daniel Brito. It's a big step for him. It's a big thing. Like I said, when we came in here, we were just seeing if he would be able to hang with the workouts. And now he's gotten to the point where he's ready to fight, you know. We're super excited. Well, the whole team's behind him. For Craig, his fight doesn't start in the ring and definitely doesn't end there. He hopes his success in the cage extends further by helping those struggling with the same illness. When I see other individuals, especially the youth, going through what I went through, I see myself all over again. And that's why he's starting his own nonprofit organization aiming to help young athletes. He's calling it HAFA, Health and Fitness for Asthmatics. As for his illness, he has a direct message to it. Oh, you're not going to stop me from doing whatever I want to do, you know, so, you know, it's, it's, it's either, you know, you get with the program or get out of here. <laughs> Well, that will wrap up this episode of Season Pass. You can check out all of our content on ConchaValleyHomepage.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at KLST Sports. Make sure to use the hashtag Season Pass to stay in the conversation. Good night, Concha Valley. Thank you for watching Season Pass, sponsored by City National Bank. For more in-depth stories, scores, and highlights, head to ConchaValleyHomepage.com.